Hello, sports fans. It is I, Noma, back with another card opening video for your entertainment. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am opening this second box of 2023 Tops Archives. We did extremely well on the first box, and I really had a lot of fun with it. So I decided to do another one, partially to wash the uh, taste of 2023 Tops Chrome update out of my brain. I've been extremely unhappy with that product. And quite honestly, uh, if I didn't want to show you guys new and awesome products, I probably would have just bought more of this because this is a really fun rip. The cards look really great. You're guaranteed two autographs. There's a cool dual card, the 89 style of Ripken and Eddie Murray. Uh, yeah, I just, this is a really fun product for me. The 2023 Topps Chrome update has not been a fun product. The quality control is a little better than last year, which is to their credit. I think this is a Fujinama foil. No, it's not Fujinama. It's Paul Blackburn. It's kind of a random person to have a foil card of, but that is to $199. But yeah, I just, I have not been psyched. By the way, I have a couple of really awesome cards I just got in trade, including a Jackson Holiday. Uh, that is a color parallel that I'm going to be showing you guys at the end of this video. So please hang around for that. Even if we don't get anything huge out of this box, you're going to see some really cool cards at the very end. There's Shohei. Speaking of cool cards, I don't think that's a short print or anything. I don't remember seeing that one in the first hobby box of this, but good looking card of the greatest player in baseball, maybe of all time. Here we've got another... I did not mean to toss those that way. I'm sorry if I offended anyone's sensibilities with that. We got a Baby Boomers of Masa. Love that card. As a Red Sox fan. And then we got a Volpe right behind it. So the rivals, Yankees and Red Sox, back to back. Love seeing that. We've seen a, um, on the Orioles. I got his autograph when he was a rookie. When the Orioles were at Fenway, little did I know that he would become a Hall of Famer. Pretty cool. We've got a 3D card coming up. I believe there's four of those per box. It's going to be of Tucker. Nothing to write home about there. There's Teddy Ballgame. I guess the Tucker 3D card can go in the orchestra. I hope that you're having an awesome day. If you wouldn't mind bopping the like button for me real quick while I open a few packs so we can move this video on. I would greatly appreciate you bopping that like button. It really helps the algorithm to show the videos to new people trying to get up to 500 subscribers, so we want more people to see it. And more importantly, we just want to share the joy of baseball cards with as many people as possible on our wholesome, family-friendly channel where we pull beast cards here at Noma Loves Ya. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. We're so glad you're with us. Well, Tony Wynn insert. There's the Rookie of the Year. That's a cool card. Give that center stage for the time being. Hopefully something will come along that knocks it off. Got a Rafi Auto. No, but that is to 69. I was hoping that was an auto, but that is some kind of really cool insert to 69. I'm not even quite sure what that one's called. If you know, let me know. Hey, Jason in Vermont. That's a pretty sweet card, huh? Jason and I both PC Rafi Devers. There's another great Red Sox card of the Babe. Put him in the orchestra. Sweet Corbin Carroll rookie card. Inside baseball. I don't believe these are short prints per se, but there's only a couple of these per box. And just look at the stage already. We're not even halfway through this box. We haven't even hit the autos yet. That's why I love this product. This is just, it's a really fun product. Baseball cards should be fun. It makes me very happy. Baseball cards should make us happy. I don't mean to be all negative, but 2023 Top Scrum Update, it's just the autographs are not great. The inserts are not great. I'm just, it's so expensive. I'm just not loving it. I just don't, I don't understand. Like, you only get four cards per pack. The base cards are not more valuable than flagship base. So what's the point? I'm just kind of over it. I was thinking I might open up some Jumbo or some Blasters because I've only done two Hobby Boxes, but I don't know. I'm not saying I won't. But ah, last year's Top Chrome update was so bad, really turned me off. And I was really excited for this year as I was hoping that it would be significantly better, and it's just not. So, yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know how much more of it I can do, if any. There's Harris. That's a nice card. So we're getting all the rookies in this box. Hopefully we got a big auto coming. I thought that might be an auto, but it wasn't. This is going to be an auto, I'm pretty sure. This is going to be a... Oh, is that Brian Wilson? Cool. Fear the Beard. That's a cool card. I'm happy with that. Very awesome. I've never pulled him before. That, I think, will bump the Rookie of the Year. It's not going to bump the... Uh, the Devers uh, to 99, or to 69, I'm sorry. Very cool. All right, so we got a Brian Wilson on card auto, not numbered. Fear the beard. Love that guy. Talk about an entertaining player. There's a Nolan Jones rookie that is st stage worthy. Lou Bob. There's a Jeter card. Should probably go up there. Brian Wilson, for those of you who are too young to remember, was a very entertaining closer for the Giants back in the day. That's going to be a King of Swing insert of Stan the Man. I guess that's an orchestra card, not quite a stage card. Libertor and Cassis. A couple of okay rookies. Well, Cassis is a really good rookie. There's a Bryce 3D card. There's a Masa base card. There's Noma. The namesake of this channel. All right, so I'm really digging this. This is an 89 of Judge with Jeter. So that's a really good card too. And somewhere in this uh, remaining pile of cards, we're gonna find our second auto and I'm hoping for something really big. And the first box, which is up to about 1400 views. So check that out if you haven't seen it yet. We got one of the World Series buyback. Very, very, very rare cards of Lance McCuller Jr. Lance McCullers Jr., excuse me. If I remember correctly, I think it's number to 25. That was obviously a huge auto. There are some huge autos in here. The vast majority of them are the fan favorite autos, like that one. I like those just because I'm a child of the 80s, even though Brian Wilson wasn't playing in the 80s, but I've been following baseball for a long time is my point, and I like seeing those old school guys but if we could get a modern superstar, I saw somebody pull a Volpe auto the other day, rainbow foil Volpe uh, auto. That was incredibly sweet. There's another Carol. So we'll put that with the Carol that we've already got. Running out of stage space here. There's a Griffey, not a white back. There's a Julio insert. By the way, um, after you Go through these, flip these over if you get a box of this, because some of these are white backs, those are short prints. Some of these are reversed, where you'd have Yankees going that way and he'd be flipped around. Those are very rare. I forget what the variant is on the blue cards. If anyone remembers, put it in the comments. But I'll, I'll take a quick run through these and make sure there's no short prints um, when we're done. But I'm not... There's another 89 style. That's Jeter and Ortiz. Very cool. So we got two Jeter 89s. I wonder if it's the same photograph. It is not. So two different photos. That's pretty cool. I like the uh, the rivals of Jeter and Ortiz. They, of course, now are commentators together. Very entertaining. They have really good chemistry. And uh, I think we're coming up on our auto. We'll save that for the very end. Behind the Gorman rookie. If you are enjoying the video, and if you enjoy my videos in general, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to add you to the Noma Army of Champions. Pujols insert. What a fun rip. What a fun rip. This has been awesome. Whoa! Let's go! Yes! All right! My favorite player on card auto. Let's get it! That's a home off for Noma. Oh, baby. Polar bear. Where have you been all my life? What a beautiful card. Kings of Swing. I thought that the auto was this uh, colored card that I put at the back. So 
We do still have that to look forward to, but here's the autograph. It is Pete. I love him so much. There's a lot of reasons why I love him, which I will tell you about momentarily. Card looks in pretty good shape. Little, little potential issue. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Looks almost like it just, there's just a little extra on the card, little, little miss, not miss cut, but just something happened when they cut it. All right, so there's a Grayson. We got a Grayson uh, teal parallel in the last box. Let's be a big rookie. Let's finish strong. It's a Yankee. Rizzo. Thought maybe that was going to be Volpe, and that would be amazing. Uh, that's going to be to 75, though. I have a very good friend who's into the Yankees who I do a lot of trades with. He's going to like that card. Um, I did promise you guys uh, this, so I don't want to... I don't want to tease it and not show it. I'll show you the Jackson Holiday card real quick, uh, just since I did say I would. But you've, you've seen the Pete Alonzo, so I don't know what more we could possibly do for you. But that's a pretty cool purple parallel Jackson Holiday rated prospect. The other cool card I got in that trade, being a Rockies fan... This guy's been kind of falling under the radar because he struggled a little bit last year, but incredibly talented, incredibly fast, speedy outfield prospect for the aforementioned Rockies, Mr. Zach Meaden. We got to sleeve up the Pete. I don't have any... I kind of did this rip a little bit spontaneously. I wasn't necessarily planning on doing a rip this morning, but I ended up with a little free time before going to work. Work has been quite stressful this week, so I am going to start my day off right with you guys and some cards. That's what I decided. So anyway, not super well equipped, but that's okay. And I have made an executive decision. I will be posting this video on Thanksgiving because I am thankful for all of you guys and I am thankful for this haul of cards that we just got. And I am... Uh, going to show my appreciation for all of you guys by posting this video on Thanksgiving. So I hope you're having an awesome day. Hope you didn't eat too much pie. I hope the turkey stuffing suited you. I hope you're surrounded by people that you enjoy being with. And <clears throat> if not, I hope that this video made your day a little better. All right, so we got the 3D cards. Tucker, Cabrera, Bryce, Juan Soto, if you're not familiar with this product, it does come with 3D glasses so that you can see that, uh, see those 3D cards. We got Noma, we got to show him since the channel is Noma Loves Ya. We got a Pujols insert, we got a Musial insert. I just love all the Hall of Famers and veterans mixed right in with these hot rookies. I mean, such a fun product. I I might have to go for more of this. I, I'm just, I'm so happy with this box. This box it might be a 10. If it's not a 10, it's a 9. I mean, it, maybe it becomes a 10 if you get one of the really good rookies autos. I know that that's more valuable. It has more long-term growth potential if you get a Michael Harris rookie uh, auto or Gunner or Adley. I don't think we even got any Adleys. There's that card. There's that card. But the Pete Alonzo, for me, just in my PC, Corbin Carroll would be a better auto to get. But, like, I just love Pete Alonzo because... Plays first base, which is where I used to play. Got to see him in the Arizona Fall League where he gave me his autograph. So I love guys like that. His rookie year, he won me my fantasy league when I drafted him literally with my last pick in the draft. And then he went and hit 53 bombs. He also won me, I don't gamble, but I did have a home run derby pool once with some of my friends. And he won the home run derby that year. There's the Devers to 69. And there's the Pete. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> two guys I PC. I got one card to 69 and I got one on-card auto. Doesn't appear to be numbered, but I don't think this is a very common card. It just couldn't be happier. The other thing I really love about Pete Alonzo is I love the dad bod. I mean, it's relatable. He doesn't look like Brad Pitt in Troy. Um, he looks like a normal person who happens to be a professional athlete who hits missiles. And he's also just a really nice guy. Like you see him interviewed. He's very humble. Uh, I had an interaction with him once before a Mets game when he'd been called up. And he was just really nice. And uh, the same guy that he was in the Arizona Fall League. He's just a good dude. 
So we want good dudes to do well. Uh, prolific power hitter. Uh, I was a right-handed power hitting first baseman, all or nothing kind of kind of hitter. Just takes me back to those glory days. So you go Pete Alonzo. This is the second on-card auto I pulled of him. First one on the channel. Fans of the channel know how much I love him. Uh, just can't get enough. The other auto of his I pulled was actually out of archives. I believe it was year before last. So archives has been good to me. And uh, I hope it's been good to you as well. And once again, I'm so thankful for all of you, especially if you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for staying all this time. Um, one of the things I am most thankful for this Thanksgiving is this channel, Baseball Cards, the opportunity to share the hobby with you guys. We're about six months into the channel and it really couldn't be going any better. So just want to take a moment to just say from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting the hobby. Thank you for sharing the love of the hobby with me. And let's have an awesome end of the year together and uh, roll into 2024 strong and loving the hobby. So put a big smile on your face, everyone, because baseball cards are awesome. Noma loves you. And I will see you tomorrow.